Much today's uh, tragic bombings uh, being described as a coordinated complex attack. National Security Correspondent Jennifer Griffin at the Pentagon uh, with a look at that. And you've been putting in a lot of hours as you look at the flag at half staff uh, at the White House uh, for all of the uh, service members, the 12 Marines, one Navy medic uh, killed. Uh, Jen, amazing work with you and Lucas Tomlinson uh, talking to all your sources. Can, can you explain this apparent catch-22 that the U.S. military finds itself regarding the Taliban and now relying on it to protect U.S. troops at the airport? I mean, Brett, the sickening feeling that I feel and that has experienced by everyone walking these halls today, they knew this was going to happen. And they knew, the U.S. military knew that when they were given a, sh a strict timeline to pull out, that they would be going back in, and they would be going back in possibly under fire. For 20 years, they have tried to stop every suicide bomber and every terror group in that country. They couldn't do it. So the notion now that they're going to hunt down ISIS and that they're going to stop, uh, find those who carried out this attack, it's, it's, it boggles the mind. The people they would have relied on to do that kind of work, hunt down the terrorists, they are now cowering, hiding in basements, in safe houses, because they can't get to the airport to safety. All of our partners, they've either left the country or they're in hiding, and we have left them to with... And the Taliban has lists of their names going house to house looking for them. So I don't understand how you're going to have over the horizon capabilities and intelligence and be able to find the ISIS networks that you couldn't find for the last 20 years in the next coming days by Tuesday, which is your self-imposed deadline for leaving. The military has been given impossible deadlines from the get-go. It goes back to the previous administration, and it was doubled down by the Biden administration when they, uh, when Joe Biden announced in April that they had to be out by arbitrarily September 11th, and then uh, what that set in motion and what the what the Taliban, the fact that they now have to negotiate with the Taliban. Let's remember who's in charge of security for Kabul. It's not just the Taliban. It's the Haqqani network. The head of security for the Taliban in Kabul has a five million dollar FBI reward on his head yeah. uh, because he's part of a leading terror group. The impossible number of catch-22s and the situation they find themselves in, it boggles the mind. Right, Jen, and you're exactly right. The president is talking tough, and he says that we're going to go after those responsible. Um, and that's very possible. We have the best military in the world, and special ops can go anywhere they want to go. Uh, but how will they go after ISIS and al-Qaeda in Afghanistan You know, now and then after August 31st? Well, it's almost impossible. The, again, the intelligence network just dried up when the U.S. military closed Bagram Air Base and they pulled uh, all the CIA bases out. They don't have an intelligence network anymore because all those people who help the U.S. government are in hiding. So they may be able to strike at some empty training camp somewhere in, you know, the Khorasan province, but... but it is going to be very difficult to go after these groups now that the U.S. military is not... The U.S. military can't even leave the airport right now, no less go into uh, crowded areas where, where these ISIS cells are, are likely operating and hiding. And ISIS is now in the capital. Yeah. So this is a very dangerous mission. My heart breaks for those Marines who ha yeah. and uh, paratroopers who are standing watch tonight at and, the Kabul airport. And for those families uh, who will never see them home. Uh, Jennifer Griffin, live at the Pentagon. Jennifer, thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.